Guess what? We're all done with our imitation deli crab salad. It turned out really beautiful and it looks so delicious. Well, I really hope you have a chance to try this recipe. I want to thank you all so much for visiting and don't forget Let's cook with ease. See you later, guys. Peace and love. Our deli styled imitation crab salad is going to have a few goodies in it. And they will be we're going to use the pickle brine, white vinegar, mayonnaise, sour cream, lemon pepper, onion powder a house seasoning mix that I made right here, which has paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, and a little bit of brown sugar and some pepper. And we're gonna use a little bit of sugar, a little salt and pepper, celery, green onion, parsley, red onion, lemon, and our star of the show, imitation crab. All right, I'm going to get this all chopped up, and I'll be right back. You all, quickly, I want to show you the way that the imitation crab comes, comes in clumps. So there are a whole lot of ways you can do this, but I like to take the time and just peel it off. It's almost like you're shredding it. It takes a little time but it makes it really pretty. And so it comes up looking like this. All right, so I'm gonna start getting the sauce ready. I have our vegetables cut up. And now I'm gonna start making our sauce. All right, let's go ahead and get this sauce together. First I'm gonna put mayo in here. You see I'm really not measuring anything. So you kind of have to add and take away. Well not take away because you can't but once it's all together then you can add to it. So so far I have some sour cream. I have some mayo. This is a pickle brine which really gives it that deli that deli flavor. You all go into delis and you see that, or you smell that really special flavor. That's them using the pickle brine. Let's put a splash of white vinegar. Also adds to the flavor. Pepper. Just a dash of salt. See, not even much. This is some lemon pepper garlic powder and this is paprika and onion powder some lemon juice a little dash open this up of sugar because the sugar is going to combine with all of these acid flavors Let's mix this up. And you all, when this is in the refrigerator, it's going to combine all of these flavors and it's really gonna be delicious. So let's go ahead and add our cut up vegetables to this. I like to do it this way. There's no rules. You can do it any way you want. 
this just lets me make sure that it's covered now as I was saying we might have to add more to it but it's okay if we do um, I'm just getting it started it smells so good y'all all right now sorry for the noise let's add this to our mixture here oops Like I was saying, if we need to add, we can. Just to get started, want to get all this mixed up. You know, once it goes into the refrigerator, it's going to get a little dry. But for right now, I think this is good. So I don't want it to be too soupy. All right, let me show you what it looks like. beautiful so this is why I like to shred it because it comes out looking really nice all right you all I'm going to put this in the refrigerator for about two hours and then I'll be back to let you see what it looks like hey thank you for watching thank you for all of our new friends and I love all of you guys for hanging in there with me peace and love I'll be right back Take a look at our crab salad. I wanted you to see it before I put it into the fridge because when it comes out, it's going to look a little different because the moisture is going to absorb. So uh, we'll take a look when it's ready. All right, peace. Hey y'all. Our imitation crab salad has been in the refrigerator for now four hours and it's still looking very good it's smelling wonderful so I just I wanted you to see it look up close to see how it looks it looks really good okay now I'm going to present this to you I'll be right back. 